And in honor of Boo and the Army Corps cat calendar, I asked you to share a photo of your quirky cat on social. This is my girl, Janice. She's got the eyes as wide as an owl with the temperament of a hermit crab. Yeah, she likes to keep to herself. Meanwhile, David's cat, Lyco, has the temperament, well, of my Uncle Bob. Yeah, just look at him snoozing while sitting up. Cats really do sleep in some pretty strange positions, don't they? Like Christie's cat here, who's really likes to sleep up against the walls. His name is Suki and his face is just squished right in there. Or how about Jen's cat, Lucky, curled over the cat tower to catch some Z's? And this cat isn't sleeping, she's, well, well, we're not really sure what she's doing here. On Twitter, Nanner said, if this heater had personal space, she would be all up in it. Oddly, she doesn't like heated beds. <laughs> Just heaters, apparently. And speaking of odd stances, check out Mimi. Her owner, Michelle, says she looks like a chubby mouse and sits like a human. That's the only thing a pet parrot could say about their animal, right? And what about human-like expressions? Jacob's boy, Fizzgig, smiles all the time. That's such an awesome photo. And Willow here might not smile at you, but she'll stick her tongue out at ya. Her human, Samantha, shared this photo, wishing Willow a happy birthday. That's right, this cute cat will turn 15 years old tomorrow. Very happy birthday, Willow. Paula's cat, Zoe, sticks her tongue out too. She says that she does it when she's happy. It's such a cute little trait. And now we'd like to introduce you to Piper, possibly the most tolerant kitty this side of the Mississippi. Dawn says that her daughter's first words were kitty. And while it might seem like a one-sided love affair, Piper shows her love by being this little girl's, quote, constant and most magnanimous sidekick. I love that. And finally, let's meet a quirky cat looking for his forever home. This one-eyed kitty's name is Uno. Right now, he's being fostered at Furry Friends Washington, so if you're looking for a new furry family member, he might just be the right fit for you. You can share your cat photos with us by texting that number on your screen, or you can email us at thegoodstuff at kgw.com, and we'll feature more of your photos at the end of the show.